pops in here trying to get the and other stories awake mode collab drop it's been on the screen here it says it's gonna take like a few seconds but it's been here for at least like a minute just spinning wheel and I hope it went through but the crazy thing about this launch is that everything became available and then like I said coming soon and then it went out of stock like immediately and I've been on their website since like 12 o'clock Eastern time because it's 941 here in Vegas and I don't understand everything sold out that I well not everything like I wanted a skirt a little brandy skirt but it sold out so I got the blazer and the red like fringy dress well I got it if my payment <laughs> is being processed because this is taking a long time but um yeah I don't know we'll see I'll let you guys know what happens okay so I finally got my order to go through I guess it was because I had a medium in my cart and the dress and the medium I guess sold out so I got the small looked at the size chart I feel like I can make it happen but um, so this little dress right here this is what I got and it's supposed to have the illusion of a jumpsuit but I feel like I might get like that little portion before the fringe starts like where it opens into where the fringe starts I might um, have it closed up I'm not sure if I like that but I like the fringe on it I think it's, it's really pretty so that I got and it see yeah, it's only showing um, extra small and small available now so that one is 219 and then I also got this jacket this blazer it has like a little cutout in the back. Let me make it bigger. But you can see the little cutout back there. I got this one in a size six. It seemed to be available at the time, but now it's all sold out. So I must have was holding the last one in my shopping cart when I was shopping. But things have been becoming available, disappearing. I'm not sure, but this jacket was $2.79, so I like that a lot. And the other thing that I wasn't able to get that I wanted was the infamous um, awake mode like panel skirt. That, yeah, laser cut. See, like how it popped up and it said that it was available, then it automatically went out of stock. That's what it's been doing all day. Um, well, not all day, but this whole time. But yeah, I wanted this skirt. But yeah, sold out. That's the back. Anyway, whatever. It's fine. All the girls will be wearing it, so I'll get a fix for it. This was another cute little set that they had, but I, it's just not something that I would go to every day. And I don't think it'll serve a purpose in my wardrobe. I want to buy it just to be buying. But it's cute though. All right, that's it. Hey guys. Welcome back. It's the next morning. Um, about to go to finish doing some Oh, they're setting up for like a nice event. That's pretty cute. I am headed to go to St. Laurent to try on the shoes that I was telling you guys about yesterday and um, see what else I can find. I think I'm gonna walk to like the mall or go to like another hotel and check out shopping there and then grab something to eat because I'm hungry, I haven't eaten breakfast. Um, so that room suffered up last night. It was just a pizza and fries, but 
it was good. Um, I had a really good time last night. I met up with um, Keyshawn after I got dressed and he was um, with one of his uh, like clients, I guess. No, he ain't really fine. It don't matter. He was with somebody else. And um, I convinced him to come with me to the parasol bar with the little like, I don't know, they're not chandeliers, but they're, I guess they're parasols. They're like up, they go up and down or whatever. But it was really cute down there. The drinks were okay. It was just okay. It was fine. Um, you know, I, I loved that outfit last night. If you can get your hands on that little Zara top, it is so cute. And then the way it sparkles and the light, it's really, really pretty. Um, and I'll say another thing too. The Attico cargo pants, they are top tier. I have had mine for a very long time and that was my first time wearing them last night because I don't really be going nowhere. But they can't be imitated. They can be imitated, but they can't be like duplicated. Those pants are everything. The way that they actually like fit on your waist and your hips and then just the, the barrel of the pant, like the wide leg and the cargos, like it was giving. And yeah, I probably wouldn't need like multiple pairs of those. Like if I wouldn't get the fern and the acid wash that I have or like the gray ones that they have, but they're really a vibe. They're cute. But um, yeah, I'm gonna head out and um, see what I can see. The makeup looks pretty good today. Y'all forgot to put mascara on last night. So when y'all see my pictures, don't talk about me. I forgot. Cause I was trying to put lashes on and my stupid lash glue, I don't know what was wrong with it. Like it just would not get tacky. So the lashes that I was trying to put on, they just kept like falling off and I went about to have it. And I guess I got just frustrated with it and forgot to put actual mascara on. So yeah. But anyway, that's besides the point. My lashes look good today though. These are my lashes and I'm wearing the Charlotte Tilbury um, Legendary Lashes or Legendary Eyes and the Damn Girl by Benefit. I like it. Then I'm wearing a Lip Bar Straight Talk Lip Liner and um, a little Tom Ford uh, Sunlust like he doesn't even, they don't even make it anymore, but it's its literally one of my favorites, but that's what I got on. And I'll show you guys what I'm wearing today. Let's see, I should turn around. So, here's the look. Got my little Dior sunglasses I'm gonna pop on, um, this little, Balenciaga inspired bag from Zara. It's got little mirrors on it. I thought that was kind of fun. I mean, mirror check, why not? Um, it goes with the brand. Um, the Zara cargo, not cargo, um, bomber jacket on this little uh, like one piece, like onesie from Naked Wardrobe and my little Jordans because they're so comfortable and I'm about to be walking around, so that's what I need. And I put socks on because I'm gonna try on shoes and I don't want my feet to be too sweaty. So, um, yeah. So that's the look. I'll be seeing you guys in a little bit and catch some lunch too. And I'll be sure to show you guys the shoes because I, I realized I never did show you guys the shoes that I was trying on, so. We'll go do that. I'll see you guys out there. I'm walking to the mall. So at Saint Laurent, the shoes did not fit, unfortunately. So. She told me to try Nordstrom or Saks, so I'll see if they have them there so that I can have them for today to wear with my outfit for tonight. But if not, then I'll just order them later.
had dinner, not dinner, lunch at Sushi Samba in the Palazzo. And it is good. It's so good. Just like kissing my hair. Now I think I'm gonna go walk around and try to find some more shopping to get into. I've had two drinks. So I probably won't be shopping long because I gotta be. And I got on this onesie and I don't feel like undoing it. So we'll see how it goes. I keep pressing the zoom button on the camera. Nice place, nice stuff in here. Take a look. I don't know where to go to shop. They got the little gondola thing. Made it back to the room and I'd have to say that was a very uneventful shopping trip because I could not get the pink Saint Laurent pumps to go well to work in my size nobody had them but I met some really great essays at Bottega Dior Saint Laurent um, where else did I go in? Balenciaga. Yeah. They were all really great and they helped me out. I'm just gonna have to order the shoes online. I tried on the 39 that the young lady brought in for me, Jerusalem, and they did not fit. My heel just kept like slipping out of the back of the shoe. And granted I could put like a little foot insert in there to make them work, but 39 is not normally my size so I'm gonna hold off and try to 38.5 just to make sure so uneventful did not get the shoes so I can't wear the outfit that I wanted to wear tonight but that's okay that's okay I did go to Zara I went to fashion show mall I went to Zara and I got a really pretty um, red leather dress Maybe I can wear that tonight. I could wear that tonight with my Giuseppe's. I did bring red shoes. Ooh, that might be a look. We'll see. Um, so I got that good old sixty-five dollar dress. Was it sixty-five, eighty-five, somewhere around there. But then I'm back. My camera died, and then the battery died, and then I had to change it whatever but I did go to Dior and um, just kind of on a whim because I was coming back to the room because I had to use the bathroom I had to pee and then I was like 
I went in Chanel and I uh, didn't see anything in there that like I really, really wanted um, as far as like beauty goes. Cause I'm not, I wasn't buying anything else. I was looking for perfume, um, but I didn't see any that I really liked or I didn't smell any that I really liked. But then I remembered, oh my God, yeah, there was a Dior. So I wanted to try some of the Privé collection and I got the Feb, Feb Delicios. I think that's what he said it was. He wasn't really sure on how to pronounce it, but we'll just say Feb Delicios. Um, this smells so good. Like I can smell, it's very warm. It reminds me of a lighter Tom Ford Vanille Fatale. Like it's smoky. I can kind of smell like some tobacco in here. I don't know the notes of this at all, but um, it smells amazing. It's sweet, a little smoky. Yeah, I like it a lot. So I got it in the four, 4.2 fluid ounces. So, I was trying to go to the little bar downstairs that I would like to go to and get my little espresso martini. They call it some kind of like cocoa drink, but it was packed down there. So I'm gonna um, go down in a few minutes and see. When I was over at the Palazzo, I kind of snuck up on the restaurant Cut by Wolfgang Puck. And I was going to make a reservation there, but because I'm dining alone, like a lot of the places don't really do like one person reservation, but like, I don't really want to sit at the bar. I want to sit at a table. So I just went over and asked them, I think they had just opened. And I was like, can you guys do a seat for one tonight? Like at a table or do I have to sit at the bar? And she was like, oh no get you in so she made me a res she got me a reservation for 8 15 so that's where i'm gonna go so walking distance away and um yeah after i eat dinner there i'll come back here and probably hang out with Keyshawn again because this is our last night here and then tomorrow we're gonna get up together and hang out um and do breakfast and probably do a little bit of shopping before time for us to head to um before we check out our room at 11 and then i mean at 12 and then go over to the airport so yeah i'm really upset about those shoes like they're freaking beautiful and i wanted to take them home with me And I had her check the Charlotte store to see if they had them in stock, but of course they only had basic colors. There's one girl in the Nima Marcus in the fashion show mall. She was like, oh, we have a great selection of Saint Laurent to choose from. Baby, all you got is black, tan, and nothing that I want. Like you don't have no pizzazz. You don't have no little razzle dazzle. You don't have no extra color. That's what I'm looking for. Got my basics covered. The only basic that I'm missing in my wardrobe as far as shoes are concerned, I'm missing a black sandal and I'm missing a silver sandal. That's it. Now, and I'm also missing pink pump. But anyway, I wanted to come um, drop these bags off, check in with y'all real quick. And then I will probably pick you guys back up when I start getting ready for dinner. It'll probably be like 7.30. Cause right now it's 4.30. So I'm about to go try to find me a drink. Oh my God, that place that I went to for lunch, Sushi Samba, that was really good. It was different. Service was a little slow for it to be slow in there. Um, the girl, she was nice, but it was a little slow. A little slow. There was nobody in there. But it was good. The drink that I had, I had a lychee cooler, and then I had something that started with N. I don't remember what it was called. 
Nashi. So the lychee, the lychee cooler, lychee, I don't know. It had vodka, elderflower, cordial, and vanilla, shaken hard with coconut cream and lychee water. Served long, so it was in like a tall glass. And then the Nashi drink that I had, which was the last one, I don't think I got any footage of it because I was ready to go and she was taking too long. Um, it had pear vodka, elder elderflower liqueur, stirred with lychee, lychee water, passion fruit, and yuzu juice. Served up, which was in the kind of like a coupe glass. Um, so yeah, the food was nice. It was a good lunch, just enough. But now, I'm ready for a little afternoon pick me up and I need an espresso martini stat. So that's what I'm about to go do. So I will catch up and call you guys back in a minute. Okay? I'm about to head out. I don't know what my outfit is doing right now. I left black shoes at home and I'm struggling. So this is the look. This little Casablanca top. All the colors on the back. But I have that. This little area skirt. And I'm um, wearing my Amiga Muadis from last night. Um, I really want to stay in the room. I was gonna wear that Sara dress, but when they put it in the bag, come on, right? When they put it in the bag, it got all like wrinkled up, and I don't feel like dealing with that. So I'm not gonna wear that. I think I need to put some more blush on, possibly, maybe. pocket right here. I put my little eyeshadow and um, another little palette in there. And then all of my other stuff. You can see, I'm trying not to be in the light, but yeah. Here it is. Okay y'all, I'm about to head out. But I'm wearing a little Casablanca blouse. You would have seen this one in my, where did I go? Turks and Caicos, Turks and Caicos vlog. And um, Balenciaga earrings, Brandon Blackwood bag, area skirt, and Amina Mawadi shoes. It looks kind of crazy, like my shoes don't really go with this and the skirt, but there's like tons of like bluish green hues in this shirt, and especially on the back. So um, I just have this on right now for when I'm walking, but it's okay. But this is the look for the night. I'm about to try to go grab some drinks downstairs at the bar that I tried to go to earlier. My reservation isn't, isn't until um, 8.15, so I'm gonna just go and sit down and enjoy myself for a little bit. But yeah, that's a look. And I'll see you guys in a little bit.
the next day, the last day. And I'm sorry, I forgot to check in with you guys after dinner, but it was really, really good. Why are you making all that noise in the background? <laughs> You're doing that on purpose, that's so rude. That is so rude. I was sitting here nice and quiet while you were on your call doing your thing. As soon as I turn the camera on, you want to have an ad lib. Why? Anyway, dinner was great. I went to cut by Wolfgang Puck and it was delicious. I had um, some oysters with like something on it that was orange. I don't know what it was. And then it had caviar on it. I had a half a dozen of those. And then I had Caesar salad. It was really, really delicious. Um, it came with like a little crostini with some kind of like garlic butter or something with the tomato on it. I didn't eat the crostini, but um, the tomatoes and the little garlic cream sauce was good. And I also had what they call um, a lychee martini. I had two of those. And then I had a um, ribeye steak, nine ounce ribeye steak with a bone marrow added on the side and mac and cheese um, as my side dish. Everything was great. The service was great. Um, the ambiance, it was really, really nice in there. I'd go back, do recommend 10 out of 10. Um, right now, just in the room, we're all packed up, got our bags and stuff ready to go. Um, he's doing some meetings before we leave. We're gonna go downstairs and grab some breakfast at Tableau here at the Wynn. And then come back up, grab our bags, and head to the airport. Um, you wanna say hey? No, I don't. Too late. Wait. Good thing I get to edit this. So rude. But um, I just got done um, taking some content for Third Love. So that's great. And um, that's cute. Can I see it? You can turn it on. There's a blood in the bottom. Look at this. Ah! Party in a cup! who's even more disappointed than you? The kid who doesn't know that he doesn't have a Lego set that somebody gave him. Dang, this is cool. Are you taking this with you? Yeah. Oh. What is Odessa? What kind of company? I know it's a company. A tech company that does servicing and platforms. A tech company that does servicing and platforms. Not sure what that means, but... That's wonderful. <laughs> um, thank you, Odessa, for the cool party cup. Um, yep, so that's what we're doing. Like I was saying, I just got done filming some content for um, Third Love, not video, um, photo content. Well, I did do kind of like a little bit of video content, but I don't know which one I'm gonna use. I know I'm gonna use the photos. I don't know if I'll use the video. We'll see. Um, but I do have... Um, something uh, if I have the link I'll leave it down below um, for a purchase at third love and um, what else I was gonna say oh y'all I got invited to be a Zara ambassador did I tell you that of course you did. well you were in meetings all day and I sent you like 10,000 10, text messages text. That wasn't in my I know but I wanted to tell you so we're all finding out at the same time they sent me an email and I guess it's like their first um, group of ambassadors and they sent me an email I'm like me little old me I surely will so now I can link all of my Zara, pur Zara purchases and they will be affiliate links so if you use them that would really mean the world to me um, so yeah Zara hauls coming soon y'all saw the dress that I um, bought from Zara already here in Vegas but 
I've got so many things. Oh, and then that little, um, that little sparkly top that I wore the other night. That was in Zara, so it's definitely still available. So I'll link a few of my Zara favorites um, either in this video or I'll like make a post on my website and then I can um, direct you guys to that. So make sure you're following me on Instagram at Crystal Me, K R Y S T L E M I I, over on TikTok as Mirror Check. And of course, if you have not subscribed here on YouTube, make sure you do that. Um, I would greatly appreciate it. I think I'm almost at 500 subscribers, which is great to me because, you know, I just feel honored to have 500 of you that are paying attention to what I have to say. So thank you guys for rocking with me. Um, yeah, keep in touch. And if you ever want to, you know, chat about fashion, Come to my DM on Instagram. I'd love to talk to you about it. But um, yeah, so I will check in you guys, um, check in with you guys probably at breakfast. If not, if I don't check back in, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.